London, a city teeming with iconic landmarks and bustling streets, holds secret pockets of tranquility often missed by the casual observer. Beyond the grandeur of Buckingham Palace and the buzz of Piccadilly Circus, tucked away on a quiet side street, lies an unexpected sanctuary, a rooftop terrace bathed in sunshine. But this is no ordinary terrace. Here, amidst the chimney pots and the clouds, Londoners are embracing a new kind of liberation, sunbathing in the nude. This hidden gem, known to a select few, offers a unique perspective on the city and a chance to escape its frenetic pace. It is a place where the constraints of everyday life are shed along with one's clothing, replaced by the liberating embrace of the sun and the sky. In this urban oasis, the city's hum fades into the background, replaced by the gentle murmur of conversation and the soft rustle of a summer breeze. The terrace itself is a study in contrasts, a testament to the city's ability to accommodate the unexpected. Lush greenery spills from carefully placed planters, transforming the concrete rooftop into a verdant retreat. Comfortable lounges invite visitors to relax and soak up the sun's rays, while shaded areas provide respite from the midday heat. A small bar tucked away in a corner offers refreshments, its menu designed to complement the laid-back atmosphere. What truly sets this terrace apart, however, is its embrace of naturism. Inspired by the long tradition of European sunbathing, it provides a safe and welcoming space for those who choose to shed their clothes and embrace the freedom of the nude form. The atmosphere is one of relaxed acceptance, a far cry from the self-consciousness that often pervades city life. Here, bodies of all shapes and sizes are celebrated, and the emphasis is on comfort and connection with oneself and with nature. The decision to sunbathe nude is, for many, a deeply personal one. It can be a way to connect with one's body, to celebrate its natural form, and to shed the constraints of societal expectations. On this London rooftop, the act of disrobing takes on an added layer of significance. It is a quiet rebellion against the city's often reserved nature, a bold statement of self-acceptance in a sea of anonymity. For some, the appeal lies in the simple pleasure of feeling the sun on their skin, unobstructed by fabric. For others, it is about shedding the weight of self-consciousness and embracing the freedom to be comfortable in their own skin. The terrace becomes a space where judgments are suspended, and the focus shifts to relaxation and the simple joy of being present in the moment. The concept of urban sunbathing is not a new one. From the rooftops of 1920s New York to the Lido's of 1930s Paris, city dwellers have long sought ways to escape the confines of their urban existence and embrace the restorative power of the sun. These spaces have served as more than just places to tan. They have been hubs of social interaction, artistic expression, and cultural exchange. In London, the tradition of urban sunbathing has waxed and waned over the years often reflecting the social and political climate of the times. The rise of naturism in the early 20th century saw the emergence of dedicated sunbathing clubs, while the post-war era witnessed a boom in rooftop lidos and public sunbathing spaces. Today, as cities become increasingly dense and urban life more frenetic, the need for such spaces has perhaps never been greater. The Naked Terrace in central London is more than just a place to sunbathe. It is a microcosm of the city's evolving relationship with personal freedom and self-expression. It is a reminder that even amidst the hustle and bustle of urban life, there are still spaces where one can escape the ordinary, challenge conventions, and embrace the liberating power of nature. As the sun sets over the London skyline, casting long shadows across the terrace, one can't help but feel a sense of gratitude for such spaces. They offer a glimpse into a different way of living, one that is less about conformity and more about embracing the simple pleasures of life. In a world that often feels increasingly complex and demanding, these oases of freedom are a welcome respite, reminding us that sometimes the most liberating thing we can do is simply to be ourselves. <laughs>